Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, this is gonna be, um, um, one of my, um, one of my longtime regulars wanted me to do a commentary on this video. Um, it's from a channel called, uh, Steve Wallace. Steve Wallace or something like that. Um, he's, uh, I looked him up. He's basically a, or, uh, oh. let me back up a second. I gotta get, I gotta put this out there first. Um, I'm having some big TV problems. Um, I, it all uh, the screen will black out every so often, so I gotta I gotta keep my remote close by. So when that happens, I gotta shut off the TV and turn it back on. And ninety percent of the time, I'll get the screen back. So, but anyway, so anyway, this guy's name is Steve Wallace, Steve Wallace or something like that. I can't I can't remember, but uh, he's a he's a hardcore camper. Like he'll camp anywhere. He'll like, what you're going to see here is uh, he's going to camp in a roundabout. He'll camp in his car. He'll camp basically damn near anywhere. So, I'm sure um, I'm sure if he uh, found a dead deer, he'll probably camp inside. He'll probably cut him open and camp inside his guts, too. So, that wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, so, one of my regulars, again, wanted me to uh, do some commentary on it. It's one of his uh, favorite channels. Um, and... Depending on how this goes, it could end up being one of mine as well. So, and then also another thing, um, kind of relevant, kind of not for what it's worth. I'm gonna be having a game running in the background as well. So, um, this is the perfect tower too. It's an idle game, but I kind of say that because I'm, I got that running, I got this running, and um, I also have PC issues. Um, sometimes my PC crashes. So, so um, oftentimes when I got a bunch of stuff going on at once, it increases the likelihood of that going on, but I'm just going to go ahead and risk it. <sighs> okay, um, let, me, let me kill a window or two here. Okay, so he's uh, stealth camping in a roundabout. Um, I, I think that's also called a traffic circle. So, everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. I've and wanted. And already this got off to a bad start. I forgot to sec. I forgot to check the sound levels. So, let me try that. To do this video for a very long time, but I haven't been able to find the perfect spot to do it. And of course, that is a roundabout. Right behind me is the perfect roundabout. I crawled in there the other day to see if it'd be possible. And there's just enough room. It's not going to be big enough for a tent or a hammock or even a cot. But on the ground, I should be just fine. Rush hour is happening right now, so there's a lot of traffic coming through. I can't crawl in there quite yet. Going to wait for it to calm down a little bit. But in the meantime, i got to grab dinner and uh, just a real easy meal for tonight. We'll make like a, a chicken wrap or something. Whatever I can find from the grocery store. Because after the fiasco with the fire, last oh. time, I don't want to light it. In a place like that, that would be uh, nothing but trouble. Now, before I grab food, I'm going to run into Princess Auto and grab a high vis vest and a big garbage bag so I can look less suspicious. Oh. I don't know if that's going to work, but I really hope it does. And for my Canadian friends, you're going to know probably what a Princess Auto is. For those that don't, it's like a hardware store that focuses on some more like bigger industrial stuff, drive line, hydraulics, that type of stuff. But they definitely got a high vis vest in there. So, gloves and a high vis vest. Food is a requirement, of course. So, I'm guessing this guy is rich. So, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to kind of retract my statement. Not, not that hardcore. I mean, I would think, um, a hardcore camper to me would be somebody who's, uh, practically homeless. Or, you know, may, maybe makes just enough money to get by or something. But, you know, he's got, you know, he's got cameras and stuff. It, I don't exactly know his vehicle, but I'm under the impression that he probably drives around in an SUV. I mean, it's cool that he likes camping and everything, but I, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that hardcore about it. It just, it feels like he's trying to mix oil and water. But let me, let me go ahead and keep watching. 
of course. And one thing I like to do for little hiking trips or when we were gold mining is that we would grab those little pre-made salads and it could be like Caesar, uh, Southwestern. Yeah, Ranch. so it, it looks like he also has a full-blown editing suite. Like I'm guessing he's probably got a house, he's got a, a fairly fancy computer that he records all this footage, goes home and edits it all and that kind of thing. So... It's, it, contradictory is the word I keep coming back to. So yeah, but let me out. Uh, let me continue. Santa Fe style, whatever. Asian salads, doesn't matter. Get some pre-cooked meat, dump that in there, and stick it in a pita or a wrap, and you got a real easy meal. So I'm going to do that tonight with some soup. I think I can kind of cook on a little alcohol stove. I'm not going to use the butane in all that tinder dry wood in there, but an invisible flame, what could go wrong with that? So I'll see what they got in here, and then we'll hike on over and um, <laughs> see if we can set up for the night. Perfect. Throw the gear into this garbage bag here and head over there to see what's going on. I've managed to actually fit all of the gear for stealth camping into this little backpack, which is good. Okay. And then I got some food right back here. Dinner. I'll go in there too. So there I go. I'll walk over with this and we'll see um, if I can get across. The traffic seems to have slowed down, so that's good. Yeah. And here we go. I'd also want to say too, he might want to, he might want to be careful if there he might want to be careful if there's any cops going by too. They might get suspicious. I wonder if he has an escape plan for that. All right. And then um, also on that note too, um, this looks like a fairly affluent neighborhood, um, probably middle, maybe a middle upper class. Um, so for the most part, the nicer a neighborhood is, the more stricter the cops are going to be. Like, if, uh, if he was doing this in, like, like out in the slums or something, or, like, out in Skid Row or something like that, cops in those places aren't going to give a shit. So, I mean, I mean, homeless people are all over the place in those kind of places, so cops are far more likely to let things slide. So, if he does get caught by the cops here, he might have a problem. So, like I said, this is a fairly, seems to be a fairly ritzy neighborhood. I'm just going to uh, stop here and wait for traffic to go past. And uh, just act like I'm in here doing something with these uh, bushes. Yeah. Okay. And let's go. Wandered across, no problem. Yeah, let's crawl into this thing. See what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna put put it on pause real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my lamp on. Yeah, because it's starting to get dark in here. And then uh, also. I forgot to mention that um, I'm thinking we might be having a storm coming in because it's a pretty big uh, sheet of gray outside right now. So, yeah. That's okay. People are going right past. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, well, it's going to be what's... Uh, patch of land. Where we're going to camp tonight, so I'll have to crawl under there a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, I gotta, I gotta pause it. I gotta take. Um, I gotta pick something. To drive me up a freaking wall. Yeah, some bad preparation on my part. There we go. Just that black border on the bottom is just awful. drive me nuts. And uh, then we'll get set up here. Soft enough on the ground here is soft enough that I'm just using a ground would... sheet, a little tent footprint. Lay that down. I'd like to think he's going to be using a sleeping bag as well. Even in the best of places, people aren't really familiar with roundabouts or how to use them. So I'm glad they've placed boulders around the outside so a car is not going to squish me at night. Another really nice benefit of being in a roundabout is that people are so focused on trying not to crash into each other that they're not going to look in here for little old me. Yup. And then kind of a side note too, um, a fair amount of drug deals are sort of kind of done this way too. A good chunk of them are actually done like right out in the open public. You know, like, like in a food court in a shopping mall or something like that. Not all of them are done like in, you know, dark alleys or in somebody's house or backyard or they're not always done in the desert. It's because uh, people are too ignorant to realize that, you know, the shit's right happening on, like, right in front of them. Again, those those people are thinking that drug deals are often done, like, you know, dark corners and stuff like that, away from prying eyes. But, um, no, um, probably one of the best places to do a drug deal is right in front of people. They never expect it. Which, which also on the, which also means that, uh, if, uh, Say if cops are uh, if cops are actively looking for for a drug deal, again they're not gonna look uh they're far less likely to look inside of a McDonald's where they're having their happy meal or whatever. No, they're they're more likely to go to these dark seedy areas looking for these drug deals taking place. You know, they're you know they're not gonna they're not gonna look at a they're not gonna look at a Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. You know, so. You're hiding in plain sight, so to speak. So he kind he he kind of touches on this as well. A good place to camp is here in a roundabout. You actually have a, despite the fact that you're out here in a public area with all these cars, these cars are these cars are too busy, you know, trying to go around, trying to trying to get out of that roundabout. Cause I've driven in traffic circles uh, throughout my life. Yeah, they not everybody knows how to drive through them. You know, so, so yeah, like I said, they're more focused on the roundabout itself than what's in the middle of it. So. I got the same uh, minus seven degrees Celsius sleeping bag. Woods brand. Lay that out on the ground here. That does it for setting up a shelter. Um, somebody recommended to me Phillips Brewing, uh, local here. Um, this is an implosion pilsner, and we all know I like my pilsners, so we'll just stealth crack this beer. Hmm. Could have been louder, could have been quieter, but. Uh, well, anyways. you're in the middle of a traffic circle, too, so I am. Yes. Chug a log. One thing I really don't like is this turquoisey blue color. Yeah, like, it, there's not a whole lot of. Yeah, it does kind of stand out a little bit. You should have got, you should have gotten a camel, uh, a camel sleeping bag, but I'm, I'm assuming that it just wasn't available to him at the time. Foliage here on the lower brushes, so I'm gonna turn this sleeping bag inside out. Okay. Oh, it's reversible. Great. I've never heard of those. better much more stealthy I've only seen one piece of garbage in here 
Oh. Oh damn. So he's so he's basically camping in virgin territory then. I just thought of that too. Usually um I'm sure homeless people probably have a few stories like this as well. Like they can they know the uh they know the areas that are well camped because you know all the garbage, you know you know, used heroin needles, etc. etc. You know shattered crack pipes, etc. You know that kind of thing. You, you can look at, you can go into a place and you know that there's been a lot of people there before you. He's, so, yeah, it looks like he found some prime ground. He just said that. He only found one single piece of no, uh, newspaper, which leads me to believe only one other person in the entire history of existence here knows about this spot. Go back to the liquor store so. While I see that, I'll just... Yep. There. Places looking nice and clean. Yep. Not everybody follows that. And there's one little spot I can actually stand up in the middle here, so that's pretty good. Nice thing is, if you really wanted to get in here, you gotta crawl on your hands and knees yep. from any of the access points around the outside of this. I really hope there's no sprinkler system in here. I didn't see one, <laughs> but it wouldn't surprise me if they put one in. The police drove past, and they slowed down a little bit, but they just kept going. I'm sure that's the first of many times they're going to drive by tonight. But, um, so keep it was also like I said earlier, too. This is actually, as far as cops go, it's probably a fairly dangerous area because this, um, this area here seems to be, you know, fairly middle to upper, middle, middle, upper class. Like, it ain't, it ain't no slums, it ain't no... You know, it ain't skid roll or anything like that. So, in um, in higher class areas like this, cops are gonna be a lot more strict. They're gonna, they're probably gonna be more, far more likely to be vigilant for something like this, for stuff like this. So, the police drove past, and they slowed down a little bit, but they just kept going. I'm sure that's the first of many times they're gonna drive by tonight. So I'll keep the lights low and just stay hunkered down. Traffic has not died down yet, and I hope it does soon because I really want to put that you, high vis vest on again and crawl out through one of these holes and he, to see if I. I would also think you'd have a harder time sleeping as well, because of all the cars and all the all the lights and stuff like that. I can see a little sleeping bag set up if I really look hard. I don't think so, because I'm in like a part where there's just shadows here. And aside from a few headlights hitting me in the face, there shouldn't be too much to see. There's other spots behind me. And those spots are more in the light, but I'm in the perfect spot for this. I'm not going to do that alcohol stove in here because these branches are yep. really dry. Um, and so they're also close. One off. Dry. I did hear some sirens in the distance, and what looked to be an unmarked police cruiser did a little turnaround and drove back that way where the sirens were coming from. I'm sure it's not for me, because there was a gentleman walking down the tracks earlier there, and uh, he was screaming very loudly some words I've never even heard before. And I think um, they may be going to check on him to be sure he's all right. Things are still really lively here. I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little bit late, and I haven't even made my uh, wrap yet. But they've got to go to bed eventually, right? All right. Stealth test. The dumbest thing I could do, because I've gotten away with this. I came in right before dark. Nobody's seen me. I haven't used any lights. And actually, I can film with just the traffic lights on me. So that's perfect. But I'm going to hang up this... It's just a cab. I'm gonna hang up this orange plastic bag a little bit there. And I'm not gonna put a light on because I don't want to tempt fate. But I will walk around this thing and see just how obvious that possibly could be. I don't think very obvious. I think this is walk in the park. Okay, um, another kind of little nitpick.
Something else is kind of bugging me. Shrink it down a bit. Okay. And I forgot to mention at the start of this video, um, this, um, there was very little preparation done in this. Um, again, again, one of my uh, longest standing regulars thought I should do commentary on this, so I, I had it on the back burner for a while. I just remembered that it was there. Um, just sat on my couch and just decided, ah, fuck it, let's do it. So, totally impromptu. And one of the good rules of stealth is you can't beat a stealth spot. You know, I could go crazy putting up that camo netting in here, but that's too much camo. I think I might actually, it would actually, it would actually make you stand out more. I mean, because most camo is like some combination of brown and green. Too much of it out there, it might actually look obvious. Somebody driving by, oh, there sure is a lot of brown and green in that area. You know, I wonder if it's camo. See, yeah. That's not uh, necessary. A good spot that really hasn't been used or discovered. There's no sidewalk around the outside. You'd have to really brave the traffic during the day to get back and forth out here. Let's uh, hang this up and go see what we can see. Just waiting for a big burst of traffic to come by here because there's a traffic light up the road and as soon as it goes green everybody comes through and then it should be red for a minute or so and that'll give me enough time to walk around it seems to be all there is for traffic but there's some people doing some construction work down there which is oh. Not ideal. There goes your sleep. There's a way I'm, out here. I'm speaking from experience on that one. There's one way in and out <laughs> without uh, going on your hands and knees. And this is it. This way, away from the construction work. Just about a perfect roundabout if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Okay, so there's a car coming, so I certainly cannot uh, just crawl in there. And actually, I think that's a peace officer, which is even better. Um, oh, that's, that's a safety patrol, and they've just stopped. Okay, this is bad, and I don't know what to do. So I'm just, he's going to come around and probably talk to me. I'm going to say there's a bird here, and I was trying to get on film. Yes, there he is. Toastland. Oh, community safety patrol. And there he goes. Okay, the heart's beating uh, like a hummingbird here. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and he's turning around, probably gonna come and talk to me. So I'm just gonna have to play it cool. Um, this might be me getting and busted for doing didn't think to say this a few minutes ago, but I thought he was actually going to be sleeping. I don't know why he's uh, out and about. So I would... Doing a stupid stealth test, and I just don't know. It goes that way. Community safety patrol. So, yay! Um... You know, community safety patrol is not going to arrest me, but they will call the police about things. So, 
not quite sure what to do exactly, but um, he's on me for sure. And um, I've never heard of a there. peace officer before. Should I crawl back in there? I just don't know. They're either cops or not I really cops. really don't know. Very bad timing, very bad timing. over there and I'm just gonna stand here as quiet as possible okay. no. and that's something just else too low. if he was gonna be out and about like that maybe do it far away from his uh from the roundabout the community safety patrol saw me and up around here here we go. All right. So, just gonna lay low, hunker down. Get some sleep. Dark and quiet. They're parked in that parking lot over there. I came in on the other side. They couldn't see. And wow, bad timing. So, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and wait for this all to blow over. I think I can hear them on the radio or something. Jeez. If he comes over to walk around, I'm done for. Nope. That's kind of what I was thinking. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go on the prowl like that, don't do it just outside your uh, your home, your roundabout. Like do it, you know, like across the street and walk away from. You know, kind of try to draw attention away from your home base. You know, rather than just you're going around and a cop catches you. He's also caught you at your hideout as well, so it, it's doubly bad for you. The security guy left. Um, I'm just laying in wait for the police to show up. But yeah. Hoping they won't. So let's see what happens. A little more waiting, and then I can probably consider myself in the clear. Yes, I broke a lot of stealth camping rules there to go out and walk around. And I will say, if you're seriously stealth camping, go in right before dark, set up, um, stay very quiet, uh, don't talk to a camera, don't have any lights on, and definitely don't get out and walk around to show what it looks like on the outside yeah. when there's still traffic around. But uh, the reason I do that is not just out of a cautionary example or an experiment, but also to make um, a more interesting video than me sitting in a little grove of trees uh, rambling on about stuff. So with that said, I'll say we got lucky and that's the rules of stealth camp. In right before dark, out ideally before light, but you know, things could have gone Basically, a worse from than dusk to did, dawn. And I'm quite pleased. So we're about to start building a little uh, wrap here because I am just famished and I gotta eat something. I figured it would have yeah, slept earlier. Different meal today. Uh, this one features the salsa and salada kit, which uh, has both iceberg and romaine, along with a salsa ranch dressing. Uh, nacho taco seasoning, cheeses, yellow and blue tortilla strips, uh, vinaigrette, salsa ranch a whole bunch of stuff and of course it comes with a lot of packaging which is unfortunate but for camping you're looking for convenience and stealth camping especially i don't want to be sitting here um yeah. chopping up a huge head of iceberg lettuce yeah but oh, it smells salsa-ish that's pretty good turkey so Oven roasted in store turkey. Throw that in there. I'm so hungry, I don't care if it's cat food. It's, uh, it's going in there. Kind of. So, dumped it all in the bag that came in. I'm going to shake it like this poi picture and dump it in one of these uh, flour corn tortilla. I mean, then I. Well, it's about 17 minutes in. I was going to say that this is a 30-minute a video. And I don't 
I don't think I'm probably going to have it on that long, but we'll see. We're here, Rob. That's not stealthy. Rob, lettuce, turkey, the cheese that came with this thing. Still spilling some of it, but... Mm. this thing up. I usually prefer to use a pita, but that's okay. All right. Mmm. Kind of healthy, but easy. Yeah. So, I do struggle sometimes trying to come up with stealth meals that are going to fit in a backpack. Yeah. That I can actually prepare in something like a roundabout quietly with without fire exploding all over the place. And um, in it's gotta summer, be cold. These nice, easy wrap things are just a great option. So I gotta get creative with them here. Some wraps, some rolls, some pizza wrap rolls, and I'll just be making these things like crazy. Mm. The traffic has died down, and it's an absolutely beautiful night under the stars. Time to get some I sleep. Could probably fit my bibby tent in here, but not really necessary. Um, the weather forecasts are always right. Am I am I right? But I stuck my head in a couple days ago to try and scope the place out, and I kind of tried to crawl in, and I said it'll probably do, but I didn't know how good it would be under these laurels. Um, I know these are a typical really good hedge plant. There's a lot of foliage and you can pretty well hunker down. Some of these trunks on these things um, are, you know, 10 inches around. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty good place and it's only going to get better over time. You know, they, they die off on the inside, but the outside is just a lush canopy of cover. So I couldn't be happier here. And I used to live here back in the day in my motorhome. And some of those spots are closed off now. I don't actually see a lot of people uh, van lifing or boondocking out here. And oh, there was um, there was a movie that came out um some odd years ago. I can't remember can't remember the name of it. But uh, the the what are the the main characters in it? was played by the uh, female cop in the movie Fargo. You know, Stan, probably needs a jump start. That one. Yeah, she, um, she was working at Amazon, lost her job or something like that, and then after that spent the rest of her life um, living in a motor home. In fact, um, and now that I also think about it, um, still about 10 minutes. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll, yeah, I don't want to do that. Let me go on the browser real quick. Yeah, you're gonna see a big old, big old white light. I'm gonna look something up. If I can find it. Almost. But uh, they're called they're called train hoppers. Like that, they're basically homeless people who get from point A to point B by uh, hopping trains. But uh, there was a there was another camper. Um, I saw him on the um, I saw him on soft white underbelly. I can't remember his name, but, um, he has a lifestyle like this guy, like, he's, um, I don't know if he was a stealth camper per se, but he does, he does live his life uh, by camping in various places, and he actually is a homeless person. I just wish I could remember his name, though. But yeah, I ain't finding it so far. Yeah, I 
ain't seen it. Well, I'm not to blame for that, but you know, some of the places that I used 10 years ago are completely blocked off now. And I haven't got to explore the places I used to go yet uh, that were further off the trail. But the easy ones that we used to park at, it's all no camping, no overnight parking, nothing like that. So They're cracking down. I guess the place is a lot busier now. Um, uh, houses and condos are sprouting up like mushrooms everywhere. So there's a lot more people here. And, you know, when you got that much uh, demand on space and parking lots, people obviously have to make different roles. But is there a bus still running? They got good transit service here. I'll say that. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, it's been a successful night. The police never came back, which is always a great thing. The security guard just uh, left. Actually, I did see another one that said security driving around. But uh, I'm just conquered down here, counting down the hours. I'm gonna crawl in here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the evening. Beautiful out and peaceful finally. Oh, morning. Time to fully hunker down because it's been a great success. A couple step twos and uh, in the middle of a roundabout in a city I used to kind of live in uh, when I was doing the van life thing, uh, boondocking, motorhome thing. But no, very, very good evening. Um, that security guard had been driving around a whole bunch and hasn't seen me yet or either doesn't care or called the police and they're too busy. So I'm just here being quiet, being good. And uh, just gotta get through the next uh, several hours here of sleeping undisturbed. And I think we had a great success. So. Um, course also please subscribe if you like this okay so yeah it, i'm guessing the rest of this video is just gonna be be sure to like and subscribe for more great content blah 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 blah, blah. which can't see it but ah eh, why not But, yeah, um, but that's, that's gonna do it so far. I like what I saw, and as you saw a few moments ago, I did, I did sub to the guy. Um, but again, the, oh god, there's, the, the fact that he's pretty technical, technologically advanced for what he's doing, you know, stealth camping and that kind of thing, it just seems, it's kind of, kind of off-putting, or kind, kind of awkward, yeah. You know, because, I mean, he's, like I said in the start of the video, he's, you know, he's, he's got, re he's got recording equipment, and from, from what I'm seeing of it, it looks like it's fairly, uh, it's fairly high depth, it's, uh, it's fairly high-end recording equipment, he's, um, he's editing his own videos and stuff, so he's got, like, the full suite, um, I, I don't exactly know what kind of car he has, but I'm guessing it's probably, probably an SUV or, Something, something fairly ritzy, so this kind of lifestyle, for lack of a better word, hypocritical. But like I said, I'm, uh, I also, but I'm also coming from like watching videos of like train hoppers and stuff. And like I said, some odd minutes ago, I can't remember his name, but he, he does the same thing that this guy does, but he's act, he actually is a homeless person. Um, but like I said, and, Sorry to sound like a broken record, but train hoppers, they do the same. They're doing the same thing too. They do, they do a lifestyle kind of like what this guy does. But again, they're all they're all homeless people. So, <clears throat> but aside from that though, good stuff. Um, but like, but yeah, um, so up to him. I might uh, I might not check. I might check out some more of his videos too while I'm at it. So, but. But otherwise, hey, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.